this confidence went on the road. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it in. Welcome to another edition of Community Forum. Please uh, hit the subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. I mean, if you like and share this with someone you know. So, real quick, um, well, first, let me just. We're downtown in some city, right? So, <laughs> so, real quick, let me just. For those of you who are celebrating or and or observing Ramadan, have a blessed Ramadan. For those of you who are observing or celebrating the Passover, likewise. For those of you who are on this Easter Sunday celebrating or observing Easter, respect due to you also. It, you know, I grew up um, actually, what could I say, celebrating and observing Easter, and I just never could get with the bunny rabbits and the egg and what it had to do with the resurrection and how do you take Friday evening and Sunday morning and make that three days? It just didn't resonate with me as I got older. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of questions on that and we can go into it at another date and time for Easter. But, hey, enjoy your day. It's family day. You know, it's all good. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was confidence. And I noticed that was one of my weaknesses coming up and still to a, a, a great degree is, is still language with me. And so I had to figure out how to get over confidence or how to not get over confidence, but get confidence because I lacked it. And the things um, that I, <clears throat> excuse me, thing that I noticed, I, I had to look at certain people who probably in most of our opinions were considered, you consider cock like a Muhammad Ali. And just looking at them, and one of the things, though, I think that built confidence up was faith. Faith. You got to have faith uh, in whatever you do to overcome confidence. I mean, at one point in time, look here, I had to switch it up. I wear my hat like this, and when I turned it around, even in a dress code, <laughs> it changed my mentality about confidence. So, in any case, uh, Anybody know where we are? I don't know. But um, in any case, yeah, so we just had to change that whole uh, thing around about the, in terms of confidence. Um, it was a lot of fear involved. Um, and I know some of us go through this. But to build our confidence up, we got to build our faith up. It's like a little child walking for the first time. And once you know that your parents, father, mother, whatever, got your back and they tell you, hey, jump from you learning how to walk and take those first steps. You're, you're confident because you know that your parents are there and you have that backing. So I'm gonna leave like this because I ain't gonna stay on long. Um, Here's the thing, confidence builder. We all are from the earth, right? Yeah. And so the earth has an atmospheric condition around it that shields it and protects it. This is have to do with confidence. Because once you know you're protected, you have all the confidence in the world. So how could the earth, when, uh, things from the universe or space try to enter the earth in order to penetrate that you have to have some serious force it will burn it up it will automatically burn the object that's trying to hit the earth up now the earth at the earth atmosphere is invisible but it's an invisible shield but it is with fire so that in sense means of course the sun is hitting the earth um, on his axis, causing it to turn at a terrific rate of speed of 1,037 and a third miles per hour. But from that, the atmosphere comes about. I don't have time to go into all of it, but it does come about. So, 
we're talking about confidence. We're talking about confidence and lack of it and how we got to get it. And so, oh man, we got, we got, we got it everywhere. I don't know. So anyway, but anyway, so anyway, um, that is a confidence builder. Once you know someone got your back, then the fear that you may have had, not to say that you won't be afraid, but the fear that you have, it lessens because you know someone powerful got your back. You know you got a protection around you. You know you, you, you don't, you worry less. And this builds confidence. I, man, you know how many fights I done lost. And I'm not just talking about physical fights. Even, I don't know, fighting for something that I believe in. Fighting for whatever, you know. Even trying to talk to a nice looking young lady or whatever. But because I lack confidence. And that's one of the first things a woman will notice about you. She can pick it up is when you don't have the confidence and you've already lost the battle when you don't have confidence. So anyway, in my small talk about confidence is that we need, you have to develop the faith to know that you can do it because if you don't, <laughs> you go into a fight or whatever it is that you want or desire without confidence, you've already lost the battle. Even if you have the ability and the qualifications to actually make it happen. So I'm going to sign out on this particular one right here. And um, I'm going to sign out on this particular one right here. Uh, of course, this is Community Forum. Thank you for hanging out with me. We'll go deeper into confidence, but just wanted to drop that uh, out here today. Um, and please, subscribe. Put in your comments. And until next time, be safe. And build your confidence. Do things to build it. You can do things to build your confidence. Challenge your fear. And that's one of the ways that you build your confidence. As one man said, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Yeah. Honestly, with you. The only thing that you should fear is God himself. That's just me. But hey, outside of that, not saying you won't be afraid, but fear, nah. And I'm growing too to learn that myself. <laughs> so hey, y'all be safe. Peace.